Good afternoon everybody. Well, you might be watching it at a different time, but I was going to do another video for you. I was going to do a video of um, foiling um, this uh, plate. I forgot. It's hot foil stamp. That's what they call it. Uh, but it's a lighthouse one. It's perfect for Father's Day coming up. But you can do it for birthdays or any other occasion. Just even to say I'm thinking. It's perfect for any of the manly cards. And you can add any of the sea themed items, the nautical ones, to it. Like anchors, um, even sea animals, like seahorses or anything else, stars, anything you want to it. So, um, I decided to do it in two colors. I'm going to do it in this blue, first time using it, <laughs> but it's kind of see-through. I'll show you. See how you can see through. So we'll see how this turns out. And then the other one is um, silver. So let me try it in silver first. I already um, did a video of the high to the Go Press and Foil Machine, how to use it. So I'm not going to repeat myself. So um, I already turned it on. It's blinking right there. So um, it's heating up. I uh, got my tweezers ready. <clears throat> Let's put a, the whole sandwich in here. So don't forget the shim. This is for my machine shim. So what I'm doing is... I'm putting um, the hot foil stamp first because this is what needs to heat up. So this has to go on the top. So we put that on there first. Then you put on the foiling sheet. And remember, the one uh, that you want on the paper is the one that's not smooth. The smooth surface goes on top of your, um, like that, it goes on top. So this is the smooth and I'm putting it on top because this is the side that's gonna transfer and I want it on the paper. I don't want it on the foil <coughs> stamp. And then the paper goes on top. And if I can put it straight, it would be best. Like that. And then the shim. Gently, carefully put the shim on top. Cover it up. And let it heat until it blinks green. I got my um, other machine ready. Let me get this out. The way. This is the scrapbooking made simple one. Um, so I don't know if they ha still have it, but I fell in love with it. I had to have this one. I don't know. I think I'm starting to collect manly themed items. <laughs> but um, okay, I'm going to put that out of the way. And this foil, we don't need it for now, so I'm going to set that aside. Here's the machine. And while we're waiting for it to heat up, I'm going to trim one more piece of paper so so did you see how it turned uh, green that means it's ready now what we do we take it off of here place it on here and slowly just run it through real nice and slow give it the time it needs to do its thing Slow, slow. I like to do it twice. I don't know why. I don't know if it makes a difference or not, but I'm just going to do it one more time. Okay. Now, let's get the machine out of the way. Actually, both of them. Get this out and see how it turned out. So, since we're going to do it one more time, I'm just going to close this up and put it back so it can keep heating. Because last time I had to wait a little while since I just turned it on. I don't want to do that again. 
Okay, so, and what I did on this sheet, I did it right on the paper. I probably could have done it higher so I can fit more words, but what I might do is do like, um, Happy Eve or Father's Day at the bottom or something like that. I don't know. I'll see. I might split the words up since it's more than one. Or Happy Birthday, for example. So because it's in the middle. Okay, so are you ready to see it revealed? Let me do it a little closer so you can see it a little better. There you go. Okay, like that. And then just gently, we're going to start peeling it off. Oh, gorgeous color. Oh my goodness, I love that color. So beautiful. Ta-da! And then, um, I'm probably going to use this piece too. Here, let me put it against the light so you can see it. Look. Because that way the lighthouse and the water and everything else and that way I can color um, the birds in maybe in black. I'll, I'm probably going to do that. We'll see. Okay. So, I cut the paper out so it's a little smaller. That way I can actually pop it up if I want to. Uh, give it a little bit of 3D. And then I can add whatever words I like. Okay, let's do it in silver. What do you think? The silver one, I decided I'm going to um, also... Let's go back a little. I'm going to also um, die cut it uh, in a circle. At least I'm going to try Let's see if this is even big enough for it. Let's try this circle. Yeah, see that's exactly the perimeter of this. So if I do that, it's going to cut it off. So I can do one of two things. I can either hand cut it out or use a bigger circle. Let's try this one. Yeah, that will fit everything. Do I like it? I don't know. We'll see. Let's make sure this is big enough. Yeah, that's big enough. Perfect. So, um, let's do the, the silver on this one. Same sandwich. Okay. So, the, um, let's, get, let's get it this way so you can see it. So, the stamp, the hot foil stamp is already on there. Now, see how this one's sparkly and this one dull? This is what you want to go towards the paper, the dull, not the sparkly side. So, put that on top like that. Then we're going to put the paper on top. Just like that to make sure it covers everything. Perfect. Oh well. Okay. You know what? This is sticking out. It might be in the way. So let me kind of off real quick here. I don't want it to be in the way when I put it through the machine. Okay. I'm going to trim that off real quick. Let's put this back on, just like that. Then put this on top. Then put the shim on top of that. And it doesn't matter if the paper is sticking out from this end because as long as this fits into the machine, it's fine. It can be as long as you like. Okay, so we're just going to let it sit until it fully heats up again and then we'll try it in silver oh but I really like this one look how gorgeous that is oh my goodness I am thinking of maybe adding the red I might get some markers in color in red I don't know I'm, I will think about it we will see I'll see how the silver one comes out I have a special order for Father's Day so let's see how it turns out Let's save that foil over there. The green light is on because it was already warm. So let's pull it out and run it through the machine. Get the card out. Oh, go slow. 
Dancing, I'm doing it fast. So this is quite interesting for me to go slow, slow, slow. <laughs> that sounded funny. Okay, it's all out. Pull it out. I don't like to put it on here so it starts heating it up. I rather do it here. So okay, there's that. Okay, put the shoe back in here, close it up and get it out of our way, and then we'll do the beautiful reveal of the silver one. Okay, I'll leave that here. Are you ready? Let's do it closer. Okay. To make sure it fits for you in there. Okay, there we go. save that also and now like I said I want to die cut it so I'm going to tape this circle right on top here that way it doesn't move give a little room here and there and I'll do it here where it's not on the foil so it doesn't come off or anything and the regular sandwich on the die cutting machine. If you have a different die cutting machine, just use yours. For mine, it's just uh, all the tabs closed. That's in there. Cover it up. And we'll just run it through the machine to die cut it. What I am thinking of maybe doing, I might do another maybe like a navy or just a blue paper, another circle in the background. Okay, so this is the circle cut out. That's how it would go on here. Oh, let's back up a little bit so you can see better. There we go. Like that, it's on the circle. So I can do that. And this way I can actually control so it's more straight. And then if you want to, what you can do, for example, is grab like a blue marker, any color in the water. Just gently like that. I'll show you how it'll turn out when I do the blue. There's not that much to color in here. And you can do different shades of blue. I might do like a really light one for the sky. can probably even do different um, shades of blue in one, like watercolor theme. I, don't, um, I did hear the foil doesn't do too well with water, I think. Not this foil. So just an FYI. But you can always try. Just do it on a scrap piece of paper and maybe just do barely any water. That way you're not wasting too much of your time. But play around and see what works best for you. And then I have different sets of markers, so different shades would be beautiful. Even if just um, doing it on here in different colors, just a little bit on this end, and then I'll show you. So 
Maybe taking a minute here to get this done. It is kind of a resist. Almost didn't see this one. There you go. Okay. Ta da! How do you like that? Gorgeous, isn't it? I really like that. I am thinking of maybe doing like a line here in this color also since that's all water, supposedly. Just like that. And then doing maybe a little bit here and there. Something of this sort. But it's still water. Okay, not too much, just a little bit here and there. Gives it this see you know, water in the background. And then maybe do like a very light baby blue on top for the sky. Or actually it might be beautiful like a sunset. Hmm. Just had an idea. And then probably yellow right up here when the light comes out. Probably we'll do it in yellow. Well, you get the picture. You can color it as you like. And then maybe some a light coming out like that. doing it on something um, like this in blue and then like that. Isn't that beautiful? Or maybe do a dark blue. I love it. Okay. I hope you like it. Please subscribe to my channel, like my videos, and share them if you can. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Have a great day.